In this video, I'll be showing you how to use masking within the CapCut video editor so you can do cool effects like walking behind a pole and completely disappearing. This can all be done with masking and I'll be showing you how to do this and simplifying it for you so you can start doing it. And without further ado, let's hop into this tutorial. So to explain masking, I'm here in CapCut and I have two simple images. I've got this red and blue image and then I also have as an overlay just a regular blue image. Now, what I'm gonna do to explain masking here, I'm just gonna increase the size so it takes up the full screen and this is an overlay here. And then what I'm gonna do is scroll over and I'm gonna click on the masking tool and I'm just gonna click split. And as you'll notice, when I click masking, it basically has just made two clips. We can see the top overlay clip here, which is the blue, and we can see the clip behind it. And all masking is doing is allowing you to almost crop in on a video and be able to do something like this. You can also do like a circle, which we'll get into with blurring someone's face. As you can see, this is just the overlay and I'm able to kind of make shapes with the overlay, which allows us to do cool effects. Now, I'm gonna hop back into this timeline here, because this is where we're gonna do our cool pull effect. So as you can see, I just have a video of me walking. Obviously this doesn't look impressive because you can see me right here. So what we're gonna do is this left side is gonna be the overlay and the other side is gonna be the bottom clip. And you'll see how this works as I get into it here. So what we're gonna do is click on overlay, add overlay, and we are going to go to our videos and add this here. And as you can see, this is just like a blank clip. It's me walking a bit. I did it two times. But what we're gonna do is actually just click split here and delete this part. So as you can see now, it's literally just a blank clip of trees blowing in the wind. Increase the full size. It's literally nothing's going on here. That's what we want. So now I'm gonna zoom out with my fingers. I'm gonna drag this clip over the top. So now basically it just looks like nothing's happening. Pretty boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our overlay and we're gonna scroll over and we are going to click on that masking tool. Now this is where things get interesting. We're gonna click the split button, which is gonna cut the clip in half and make two separate clips basically. Uh, one on top of the other, but one cut in half. We are going to turn this like so. And we are actually gonna use this pull as the point where the clips are separated. Just so you can see this clearly, I'm actually gonna go to adjust and brightness and turn it all the way up. As you can see, there are two clips here. This is the one side, this is the other. There is masking going on right where this pole is. I'm gonna re-put it down just that way. It looks like there's nothing going on there. It looks like just one clip. Now here's the cool part. Watch what happens when I click play here. I'm walking, I'm walking, and where did I go? Completely disappeared behind the pole because the clip on top is just a blank clip and it's just lined up perfectly with this pole. So it looks like I just walk off into nowhere. That is the power of masking. Now this is probably one of the easiest ways to do a mask. You'll also notice that this is a cloudy day because something you might face is if the light is changing all over the place it may not look like a perfect match. That's why I chose a cloudy day because normally cloudy days, the lighting stays the same. There's not like a lot of change in brightness. Um, so keep that in mind if you're doing this effect. It might be easier to do it inside versus outside, uh, but it can be done. You can also do the same masking effect, but with different shapes. So for example, if I was to delete this, click on this, and what we're just gonna do is click over on the copy button, move it to the overlay so we have two of the same clip over one right on top of the other as you can see here. If we had someone who's not moving and was stationary, what we could technically do is add a video effect, click on effects, open up the basic one, and then click on the blur effect. I can click the check mark. And what I could actually do is click object, attach the effect to the overlay, and then what I could do is go back here to the overlay video, and then I could click on the mask button, 
and I could actually choose a circle. And if I really wanted to, um, right now, CapCut at the recording of this does not support keyframes on masks, but what we could actually do is blur out a face. So if you were just doing like a talking head video with someone, maybe an interview, you didn't wanna show their face, you could actually use masking to blur out someone's face and then when CapCut hopefully inevitably adds in tracking for masking, this blur image will be able to track the person. Let me know what you guys do by commenting down below and showing me your guys' masking effects that you've done. And also be sure to check out this playlist right here going over all the things that you can do within CapCut. It's an entire playlist dedicated to this. Be sure to check that out so you can do more cool effects. And I'll see you guys in the next video.